Hey guys, this is Tim with Tim Stout and Associates, Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners, your trusted real estate expert for Coweed in Fayette County. Today, today I'm going to go over a subject that I get asked a whole lot uh, because myself is a, uh, I'm a residential real estate investor and I get asked this a lot. Uh, the majority of, of America's wealthy, they become wealthy through owning real estate. And there are several reasons why, but uh, I want to go over three of the biggest reasons in my eyes that makes investing in real estate a good investment. First, I want to talk about uh, stocks. People invest in stocks all the time. The reason the stocks uh, increase in value is their uh, each value increases. So if you have 10 shares that are worth $100, you own $1,000 of it. So if they improve to 120, and then that moves up accordingly with the money. So it goes up and down, just, just like most investments can. Residential real estate is, uh, sometimes we have dips in the market, but historically, it always increases. We may have a dip, but then it increases. So even if we're, if we're here, we may come up, come down a little bit, but it always comes through. Even right now, we're with 207, the big market crash. We were above where we were, and the crash before that, we were above before the other crash. So on the long-term investment, residential real estate makes a great, a great investment because of the way it always goes up. The three big reasons that I want to explain why I am a huge fan of residential real estate is this. We're going to go as if we're borrowing, uh, we're going to buy a $100,000 house. Let's do 5% interest and a 15-year mortgage. So we're going to put 20% down. So we're going to have $20,000 down in this property. So we're buying a $100,000 house for $20,000 down. If we bought $100,000 worth of stocks, we would have $100,000 in it. So now we have a fifth less in it. So right now we have uh, $20,000 in, $100,000 property. Number one thing that I like with uh, residential real estate is cash flow. Cash flow is what you make a month over top of over top of your mortgage taxes and insurance. So if we're looking at cash flow and we have, uh, you know, we did we financed eighty thousand dollars for fifteen years for a five percent. So we're looking at about a six hundred and thirty three dollars per month. That's what our mortgage is. Our rent basically should be for paying a hundred thousand dollars for let's say it's a thousand dollars for easy math and it's it's very very close to what it should be around here maybe even a little more so if we go for a thousand dollars rent right there we're making three hundred and sixty seven dollars a month cash flow so every month we make three hundred sixty seven dollars for 12 months a year times 15. So that's the number one well, number one reason that I like is cash flow. I like to be able to make money monthly to build up my residual income so I can make money as I sleep. Number two, appreciation. Real estate always appreciates, has over history, historic time has always appreciated. So the house I buy at $100,000, say it only appreciates 5% a year, which is about average during normal. The last two or three years has been incredibly high. But let's say 5%. So in 15 years, you can see the appreciation that that's going to bring up. I mean, 5% on 100 is going to be worth 105 next year. 5% on 105, and it continues to grow. So in 15 years, the $100,000 that we paid is going to be worth exponentially more. So I've not did the math on it, but let's say let's say it goes up to 120. So we've made, and that's not the right number. That's just an easy number. So 120, so we've made $20,000 just by owning that. Plus, you know, the $367 for 180 months, we've also improved on. But the biggest, most important reason to invest in residential real estate, that is the only investment that I've found that someone else is willing to pay down your debt. And what I mean is the renter. So I'm making $1,000 a month. It's $633 a month payment. That's not counting taxes and insurance, uh, which I'll still be able to, to make money over top of that. But someone else is paying down the $80,000 I owe. If I can keep it majority rented for 15 years, someone else has paid down $80,000 of my rent or my mortgage. So in the grand scheme of things, I have paid $20,000 down. And in the 15 years, I now own a $120,000 house that I paid 20,000. So I've made $100,000 there. Someone else has paid down my debt, my $80,000. And I've made $367 a month for 180 months. Those are the reasons that I, I, I really like residential real estate investing, or real estate investing in general, but especially residential for myself, because that's what I do. 
uh, we're going to be holding a seminar for uh, for real estate investing for for beginners all the way to to advanced investors, people who are interested in maybe thinking about this. Send me a message if you're interested, and if we get uh, we get some people that are interested, me and Dexter Putnam, my lead buyer specialist, is going to sit down and we're going to come up with a seminar for you guys to really help you guys uh, create wealth through real estate investing. If you have any questions with real estate, period, give us a call. Uh, remember, who you work with matters, and have a great day.